Hello Raiders, this is Sly again. This is going to be another Raid Shadow Legends video and today's topic, you're definitely gonna love this because this is going to be the secret and how we win the clan versus clan. That's right, you heard me right. Um, the secret on winning clan versus clan battle. Okay, so without further ado, uh, let's go ahead and um, continue with the video. I encourage you to stay at the very end because I'm going to tell you that uh, secret, okay? Okay, so first let us go ahead and uh, visit the um, clan versus clan here icon. So. Guys, we've, uh, okay, um, let's see here, God Mode W-O-R-F, so this, is, this is our opponent, alright, and we've managed to get like 1,000, 1,904,000 points, and they managed to do 1,686,000, alright. So shout out to God Mode um, for making this really a close fight. Because imagine from the start of the tournament here until the very last hour, they were still leading around. They were leading around like 200 points, 200k points to 100,000. And then from the very last hour, probably 100,000 points. But we still have or we still have our strategy. Okay that uh, we'll be actually trying to apply in the last hour of before the tournament ends. So that's how we can actually come up or how we were able to win this clan versus clan. And this is kind of kind of interesting about this um, strategy or actually um, like let's say matchup that uh, we have here with uh, God mode because um, I'm gonna scroll down here to the number of members. So if you notice, we have like one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, seven inactive members, right? Who haven't participated and even contributed even a single point to our clan. They only have one, so they're uh, we're up against the odds of you know six members. They're uh, six members short. Okay, compare with them. All right. So that is really uh, what uh, worries um, my other uh, clanmates. Okay, my friends here because we're short with uh, firepower. All right. And if if you uh, check here, um, they were leading and uh, forging here because. Um, before it used to be like they were leading around around 100,000 just for uh, Forge and then uh, what else I guess the Spider they were leading uh, points in Spider and then um, I guess those those uh, two here okay Spiders and the uh, Gears in the Forge actually Spiders Gears and the Forge so they were probably took advantage of the artifact enhancement, all right, and forge. So by looking at these three leads here, spider, object, uh, forge, gears, they were really going after the artifact enhancement because when you farm spider, you can get more silver. Just like my previous video, you wanna you might wanna check that out, guys. How to farm silver very efficiently. I'm gonna put a link, okay, in the comment section. I'm gonna pin a com uh, a link there, and then. Um, of course, forging, forging would, you would be able to, let's say, forge really a legendary, if you have a lot of materials that you're actually, you save a lot of materials, you can uh, forge that and just sell those ones that aren't really, really giving you much value. And then, um, okay, convert it to silver. And then, of course, um, you know, upgrade your gears, your top tier gears that you are actually saving for this kind of event. You can actually upgrade those to maximum level. So just by seeing those, you would already notice what they are doing. All right. So we come up with a strategy. All right. 
uh, to use. Uh, first, we, 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 I guess all of us know that if you're using books, rare books, and then, you know, uh, pulling shards, you can, you can definitely get a lot of points there. All right. So that's where we actually comes, uh, our clans comes in. So champion objectives, right? But um, I, I told them not to spend really uh, that much because uh, we were really, really uh, leading. Initially, we, we plan on, uh, you know, uh, using 100 each for those really active. So probably there's five of us um, or three to or three to five of us who are willing to do, uh, to do those kind of uh, strategy. All right. And what I did in my end here, because I know what they were actually doing, and I checked my resources, um, I noticed that I have a lot of resilience uh, materials here, which I actually don't need. So why not spend spend all of this? But I was able to save silver from like 17 million silver. Just imagine that. It used to be like 19 or 18. Um, but I, of course, spend those by upgrading some of the gears. But uh, while well, I was actually waiting like um, two, let's say an hour and a half before the tournament ends of keep uh, forging and selling those. So I, I came up with a lot of, really a lot of uh, uh, resilience gear here. Okay. So that's probably it. And on top of that, I'm going to tell you the secret and how we actually beat those guys. All right. So uh, I would love you to stay tuned at them. Okay end of this video um, and then if you notice here I really have a lot of great uh, legendary or six star um, let's say gears just new I hope this would show um, but it doesn't really show so let's let's go ahead and just probably filter this um, really quick all right so let's go with resilience. Okay, so you see there's really a lot of new uh, resilience set here that I haven't even uh, upgraded yet. So I'll take advantage of that and sell it if it falls to like uh, substats that I really don't need. Because I'm planning to use this on Lord Chamfort to solo the Ice Golem so he can uh, bring more foods or like four foods um, Okay, with him. Um, all right, so that's what I actually uh, did. All right, so this way we were able to win this uh, clan versus clan, and just basically dailies. So dailies, I haven't spent a lot of uh, books as well. Um, if you notice, I got like two hundred three thousand um, and two hundred ninety points by just doing dailies. Those uh, selling gears, not really that much. And then probably some of the some books around like almost oh around like 30 to 40 books, all right. Uh, rare books. Yes. Um, I mentioned or I told one of my clanmates I actually have around like 170 or 60 something, but I was just really mistaken because I was looking on the you know Bruce here 172, but my books was really around just a hundred something I handed something books because uh, I'm a free to play um, mostly and then I started raid after almost like um, almost a year when raids uh, first started so I started around November 2019 I believe yeah November 2019 so I got still 55 I probably used like 40 of those and then just really grind I'm not even in the the uh, gold 3b3 which um, most of us probably already know that in gold four those um, it would give you a lot of uh, points by just um, let's say doing the 3b3 and then also the classic arena but um, of course for clan boss I can one key clan boss so I, I uh, was able to let's say hit like from ultra nightmare down to hard as long as I can contribute any points no matter how small it is but uh right that's what i, I actually really uh, did and then was able to save here silver so that's it that's basically it now let's go to see the the pros and cons of this 3v3 all right what's the good thing about it 
and uh, what we actually hate, okay, in 3v, or not 3v3, but clan versus clan. So I guess the good thing about it is we we were able to, or clan leaders, or us as a member, we were able to know um, whose player is actually active, who wants to participate, uh, who's participating. Oh, um, we were able to, well, let's say, uh, notice um, if those players are kind of really knowledgeable in raid because just you can actually um, achieve like probably 250 points, maybe even more, by not really spending, just making the most of what you already have. Just like this. Uh, mine is, I could probably do more points, okay? Because I don't really need this, all right? I'm just going to sell them and then forge it. Uh, and then probably I would need just legendary or epic um, six star, which really have a good uh, sub stats. All right, compared to perception, the resilience is a way lesser value. I guess we all agreed on that. All right, unless you're thinking of something else, which I, I didn't notice then. All right, so that's probably one of the good thing about this. And uh, we would uh, know it was competitive, even though the, the rewards here really is trash. All right, because if you check the milestone, all right uh even the tier six this is way lesser value compared to the uh stuff that would act you would actually spend just to really uh win this clan versus clan so just imagine two voids just one le legendary book and then what are you gonna do really with the ring all right it's not gonna be that much and it's not guaranteed all right it's not guaranteed stats You'll get, you can get a crappy stats. All right. So it's just basically bragging rights. But I know, of course, I know the fact that every clan, okay, one of the reason is really to be popular. Who don't want to be famous? Who don't want to be popular? Okay. All right. But um, if it, like being efficient, okay, that's actually what's most important to me. All right. Like what we did. When we were able to get, uh, let's say, ahead of this um, clan here, like 100 points ahead, and then it was almost five minutes, I tell, I tell them to, hey guys, we need, we need to stop, we need to hold for it. Uh, let's save that for the next, um, let's say, clan versus clan tournament. And the reason why um, I'm the, actually, I'm one, just one of the probably uh, member here is pushing for it because. Um, raid discriminates those lower rank clans by doing this tier rewards. Okay, where is that? So everyone should be on the same playing field, all right? When the uh, tournament starts, they should not have this tier, all right? The only time you can get this tier is based on your performance. But I guess most lower ranking clans has been discriminated because initially they start in tier one. That's probably why they're not participating. So it all should be in the same playing field. Then it depends on your performance. But this is really the first clan versus clan battle. Then why did they decided to uh, give those higher ranking clans, let's say those kind of rewards, Okay, so basically they're just giving uh, them um, more edge. Though those really whales or whoever started the raid a long time ago, okay, um, they are giving more advantage or more edge to those kind of players, which is kind of really unfair. To me, it's really unfair. We should have start here in tier one and then moving up to the tier six, depending on our performance, okay, on every battle. So. Well, I like the matchup with probably the same uh, player power. So that's one thing I like about that. The rewards, this is the worst. Okay. All right. So I guess that's it. And we were able to, the good thing is we were able to know also who, who's trying to 
or who has some ideas that could contribute to a clan's success. All right, uh, pretty much knowledgeable about things in raids. If not knowledgeable, then it's willing to give, give their opinion. All right, now the downside of this um, clan versus clan tournament, there's actually a lot. There is a lot of downside on this. So it, it's a money grabbing scheme. All right, it's boring clan versus clan. Just basically doing uh, like not a clan versus clan, but I would say cash versus cash. <laughs> right, that's really it. Cash versus cash. Okay, um, if they want to go all in, it's definitely going to be talking about cash here. But they're, they're probably uh, wise enough, okay, not to spend those. But those, those higher clans, even one of my uh, higher ranking um, clan branches, uh, branch. Uh, fell for it they lose um, those um, battles with uh, mad I guess um, let's see uh, all right so tier six let's see yeah um, this is actually mad yeah so it really depends on you but uh, I know they're they're uh, um, gunning for Probably just a bragging rights and uh, making sure that everyone would actually participate. But still, uh, it's not efficient for me. I did my part just to cooperate, um, doing what I'm, uh, what was expected of me. All right, so that's it. But just to really spend or compromise my account with just winning those clan versus clan, no, it's not gonna happen. All right, I even told some of my. Or uh, some of my members or, or clan colleagues that we didn't need to spend that much okay? we could just probably spend what we have or what extra resources we have that we're not really using because uh, anyway it's gonna going to be replenish all right so and I'm just like my previous video I'm actually recommending this is just my idea probably there's a lot of idea out there that I know why not create a new map here like dungeon and then let's for this fire night let's say the starting um, player would start in this and then the other player the opponent will be opposing player will start in this and this is going to be like uh, an empty dungeon with uh, NPC who's guarding on it you need to beat this and then once you've been in this uh, dungeon you need to defend it up until the very end okay whoever has the most points would actually most uh, dungeon okay uh, defended will win the uh, tournament or the clan versus clan and the reward should be exclusive only for like 24 to 48 hours gaining books or um, let's say having one particular dungeon where you can farm books let's say here uh, the rewards this is going to be books so this is going to be legendary books um, epic rare and then the winning winning team can gain access up to stage 15 the losing team will gain access to either stage 10 or stage 8 all right uh, same with silver or potion ascension potion because those are basic um, let's say materials or uh, stuff in this raid that we really need all right so that is actually my thought about it um, and let's go to the secrets uh, i'm gonna show you the secrets uh, tips and tricks and how we actually win uh or how we have won the clan versus clan battle okay um just give me one second the secret ingredient of my secret ingredient soup oh come here the secret ingredient is nothing all right, that's it. You heard it right. There is no secret in winning clan versus clan. Everything is actually given here. All right, the objectives. All you need to do is understand, all right, okay, how to earn points and be knowledgeable enough to uh, get the most of what you currently have. Let's say, for example, I have this resilience I'm not really using this so I could probably use this some uses the shards all right so there is no secrets because if that happens to be a shard then some people doesn't really have those kind of shards uh, and it's given there right on the objective okay it's very informative and how you can win so it's really up to you 
where you're currently at, what extra resources you have, what you can do probably to contribute, like if you can do more, right? So it's all given there. So there is no secrets. All right, guys, that's pretty much about it. Again, we're happy that we won, even though we are uh, six members short and we are really the, probably we can say the weakest branch of uh, Tao uh, clan, but we're still happy. Um, Tao was able to win, I guess, six um, clans overall, branches, clan branches overall. I'm not sure if it's probably seven or six. That's pretty much around there. All right. And uh, this is live once again. Please subscribe so we could uh, do more content that would help you guys how you can uh, be efficient in the game, um, um, do faster progress, and uh, eliminate those mistakes. Okay, probably minimize those mistakes because I've made a lot of mistakes in this um, account that I, in my account, all right, made a lot of mistakes, but I don't want to repeat those mistakes. I want to. I don't want those mistakes to actually happen to you that you wouldn't would end up quitting rate. All right. I know there's a lot of that's a lot of uh, things that's been going on, especially this clan versus clan, which probably I would say this is an epic fail uh, content of Plarium. All right. I'm not saying I am. I, I still love Ray, though. It just so happened that this content is not really enjoyable it's boring and it's just really you know a burden to some who just want to really want to play casual or uh, clan uh, you know who, who join the uh, clan for just clan boss you know. all right thank you that's about it again if you have any idea please put a comment below um, and thank you um, again have a great day bye bye